Hello, and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. This is an emergency episode, and I hate everything Mike Malik is doing. If you're an audio listener right now for once in your life, you're like a little lucky. So oh, my God. Oh, are we rolling? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. hey, Mike. Hey, guys. How are you? So, so good. We shot this episode of Cancelled mm -hmm. like a day or two ago. And I told the story that I told you on FaceTime. For too fresh, fresh, too fresh. Goozy of a story. Yeah. Probably, like, I would say the worst thing I've ever done. I don't think it's the worst thing you've ever done, but I think it was pretty, it was up there for sure. How do you define worse? Like, who, who's the, who's That's the, true. who's the victim in that? It seemed like a, it seemed like a consent, semi-consensual, at least, affair. Like, you guys had fun, what? I guess it's not worse. Yeah, like, mutually done, beneficial. Like, yeah. it really wasn't that bad. It was just pretty, like, out there, for sure. I, that's what I think, like, the, the weirdest thing I've maybe ever done. We shoot this episode with Trevor Wallace. He comes on. I decide I want to tell the story then. And I'm like, what? Am, why am I telling Trevor Wallace this? You okay. know what I mean? Like, it's just the weirdest fucking episode ever. So now we're in New York City. We need an episode in one day. We summoned Mike at gunpoint. And today we're going to give you our all. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I mean, listen, I love you guys. I love your audience. Uh, <laughs> last time I came on, we talked about mental illness the whole time. So maybe today we could do a lighter topic. Yeah, I maybe today we just be mentally up. ill. Why well, always that's am. naturally, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you shot a podcast today already? I did. I shot uh, three hours of YouTube content. I also shot a two and a half hour addiction podcast they called <sighs> Dopey. Um, really good title, good. honestly. About for what, overdoses, for this topic. mental illness, uh, inability to commit, all kinds of stuff. And also uh, our podcast, Impulsive, which we shot two episodes of over the past three years, is trending number one on YouTube right now. So I was going to say, we're all kind of in the same, but we just shot like a two and a half hour podcast. So we're all like a little burnt out and fried. And we'll get into why we're here in New York as well, all of us together, including Jeff, who just lied to me and said he'd be here, but then Mike let me know that he is lying to me. I think it's up in the air. I'll be interested to see what You're happens. I'll be really boy. excited like, if that's like, like he's your boy. <laughs> you said that because he's your boy. Like, I love he lied him. to me. I love him. Me dude. too, but he lied to me. Um, so, Brooke, I don't even know if you know this, but the last episode of Impulsive is trending like worldwide. I've, I'm saving. First of all, I see every episode of Impulsive. I'm Aww. saving myself. I'm a super fan. Thank me fucking you. too. We love Impulsive, but I'm saving this episode for like, I want popcorn. Like, I want to, like, watch it, like, in What's the most recent? Is this the— Yeah, so yeah. basically Jake came on I after— I can lay it out for you if you need it. <laughs> you, you can if no, you want to. No, that's okay. Jake, Jake came on after the Nate Diaz fight. We we always have Jake on after his, uh, his fights. He came by to talk about what had happened, his goals, what's happening next, so on and so forth. And, um, yeah, got into a little bit of a, a exchange around— um, deservedness as it pertains to fights, who the better boxer is, uh, sponsorship clashes between Prime, uh, and, Prime and the brand that you just mentioned. <laughs> uh, oh. You know, so it, yeah, it got, it got heated. And, um, you know, I think when we record that and we run into a situation where the audience gets to see something that's like real and raw and authentic, uh, it's our goal to just kind of like get that out there. I think even to our own uh, demise sometimes yeah. because people yeah. get to peek in behind the curtains at some shit that's not always pretty. It's not always like uh, 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 this fine polished machine that people are used yeah, to. I feel like if so it's like got, actually happening on camera. Like if we, if we were to like, get in an fight. actual argument, especially if we get brother and brother. I don't know if we'd air it. Like, I'm not going to lie. Well, it wasn't, it was just like, it, what, like I, I'm not 100% sure, but it was like, the comments are super in Jake's favor, which you never see. I was well, also, yeah, a lot of people said like Jake is making, lo or like it, this is making Jake look likable. But I mean, I'm a Logan. I'm, Me listen, too. I'm Logan. Me too. Okay. I mean, that's, that's my brother. Also took... Uh, Jake's side the majority of time on the show. I was yeah. I was playing mediator, but basically what happened was uh, Logan had made a, a pretty like low key comment about Jake like sniping the Nate Diaz fight from him. Like mm -hmm. Logan was locked into the fight and Jake would kind of sniped it from him. And um, Logan basically said something along the lines like, "I gave you that fight," and Jake just kind of defended himself and said like, "You don't give me fights." Like uh, like in in more more words or less, like I'm the A side. I make the decisions because I'm a, I'm a winning fighter. I'm active, so on and so forth. I will say this: in that first initial response, initial response, Jake's reaction was to say like, "Yo, like you you're you're not a real fighter. You don't fight. Basically, you don't fight real fights." You've only lost, and you've, the last time you fought was like four years ago. It was but then it, Logan goes, "You said I won against Ooh. Floyd." So yeah, so it, so there so there were some points made 
Um, and, it, and it ends up getting down to like a discussion around like how people talk to each other when they debate. Anybody can win a debate through pulling daggers out mm. and making like really fiery and inflammatory responses, especially because it generally gets the person that they're debating to feel uncomfortable, shaken, and it turns into a free for all, which is what I was trying to mediate and stop from happening. Yeah. I think there's a lot of like valid stuff there. I think Logan obviously needs to prove himself. He's got a fight coming up against Dylan Dennis. I think it's October 14th in Manchester. He has to DM knock me. Dylan Dennis into Dylan the ground. Dylan Dennis just DM'd you. Sorry. What did he say? I don't know. I think just hi. He used me as such a pawn one time. I'll never forget. He like, we were at a club. Oh, he took a fan photo with you, right? Like these girls I were remember. like taking fan photos mm -hmm. with me, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he like comes up to me, asks for a photo. I have no idea who he is. And then he like uses me as this crazy pawn. We get in this whole Twitter fight. I ratioed the fuck out of him and I was so proud. Oh, nothing, um, what are your thoughts now. on Dylan Dennis? Like, Me personally? Yeah. I just don't think he's going to show up to the fight. I mean, I don't really have any thoughts on him. As, as you know, yeah. like I'm not, I don't really do like a ton of like dramatics. I, yeah. I, I haven't like done any beefing or like drama. I review waffles. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> cheeseburgers. Like I don't really like <laughs> call people out. Like, did you get food? We ordered food. We're going to eat it in a second, but continue. You're going to eat food on a podcast? Absolutely. fucking Yeah. Lovely. You guys have been getting a lot of views lately. I've been really proud of you. I've been Wait, watching the shows. You. I, you guys are crushing it right now. Thank I'm really, you. really excited for you, honestly. I think so we nice. kind of found our footing. People don't like our, um, like, we have, like, sometimes, like, really random guests that aren't, like, affiliated with us at all. Yeah. They People like, like when that. it's, like, friends. You know what I mean? And we finally figured that out, that they just want us to ruin our own lives. Our audience would prefer us to do boys-only episodes every time we do yeah. a show. Yeah, yeah. Like, too. honestly. Exactly. Because people just love the friend group dynamic, but then that gets messy because you're airing out so much of your life. Yeah, because now there's only so much to talk about, and it has to be your own self, basically. We try to do, like, half guest episodes, half boys-only episodes. Yeah. But regarding that, like, D Dylan Dennis has two options with this fight there's mm. there's only two outcomes he doesn't show up which is what the likely outcome is he pulls mm. out of the fight he he you know mm. has some sort of last minute excuse or he shows up and he gets bulldozed he yeah. ends up down in the first round i would put every i would put my house on it literally this, <laughs> there's 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 no other outcome there's no outcome where dylan danis beats logan paul he can yeah. simply post a bunch of inflammatory shit on twitter which yeah, i'm you probably will. sure you got, oh you don't think you will oh has he already Oh. oh, he's already going oh. in. We don't have to talk. I about love that, that our ninety-eight percent female audience is going to love our sports casting right now. Oh yeah, sorry I know. I literally that. feel like I'm on Barstool. <laughs> so sport. let me talk to you guys about my <laughs> failure to commit in relationships. No, no, we um, actually do want to talk about that because I just saw you on a date. I saw you from across the room. Where do you want to go right now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> where do you want to go right now? No, Brooklyn? I just have a specific question for you, and it's: Are you? Do you wear contacts? Do you have a hard time seeing? Because. The whole time, I'm not kidding, the entire time for like, it was like two hours that I was there at the same time as you, you had your flashlight on. <laughs> Wait, where, where was this? Like, we were like, he's, he's in a little, dark restaurant, like a grandpa flashlight no. on the Laurel, menu. Laurel Canyon, the little Italian place. At Pache? Yeah. Who Great restaurant. the fuck were you at Pache with? Okay. That is authentically, specifically okay. a date spot. Can we yeah. bleep? And it is I was, such a date spot. Wait a second. You saw, did I see you yeah, there? Yeah, no, I, I was, perp I was like intentionally like hiding from you because I was like, God, I just don't want this interaction. Can we bleep the name but you tell Mike? Well, he's not going to know who it is. It's just my, it's my friend's older brother, but. Oh, I thought this was with, um. <laughs> I just made that up. I just made that up. I don't know no. why I said that. You know, because he's like the number one. Like, he's actually coming he's... to the dinner that I have to go to at 930. Oh my God, you invited <laughs> me. I will not be there <laughs> at all. Um, hey, but, Who I mean, did you I think am, it was? I'm sure you guys have like a What's whole What's the thing. comedian's name? Why can't I think of his fucking name? It wasn't a comedian. Okay. Anyway. Theo um, Vaughn? Please tell me it was fucking Theo Vaughn. No. If one of you guys bangs Theo Vaughn, I'll be so happy. That dude is the funniest person on the planet. E Tana, if you can bang either Theo Vaughn or Dave Chappelle, it can't be I will come on your show whenever you ask. I'll <laughs> make donations to any charity. I'll invest money. Is Dave money. Chappelle single? I'll invest nah, money. He got a He's wife. married. He got yeah, a wife. I'm not banging Same. Theo Vaughn. You know what's funny is I've actually like historically been like the friend where my friend is on a date with Theo and then I'm like there. Like I, every time I see him, it's like, what up brother? Cause he's like dated so many of my friends that I'm like. He is so funny. You know, he he's is the funniest he is man. Pain, but do you know what's alive. crazy? Really funny. He's the funniest person alive. My favorite podcaster, my favorite everything, right? But do you know how it goes when you don't know with someone if it's like a bit or not? Like it's if he not, if he's playing yeah no that's not, that's what yeah. we found out it's like that's how that's he talks how all the time. He is. Yeah, Theo Vaughn is Theo Vaughn is Theo Vaughn. In my eyes, that man is probably the smartest comedian right now. I, I hesitate to put him over Dave. Dave is Dave is 
you know, the all time oh, yeah. goat of comedy. Yeah. The dude is absolutely freaking hilarious. Um, and, and he just continues to get better. But Theo's close, dude. Theo, but it's also Theo's very, two very different types of styles. comedy. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, Theo is, like, you cannot be dumb and be that, like, funny. That's the thing. But he's, he's so good at seeming dumb enough that it's like, I also think it's like he, a, you want that as your friend. Like, dating and connecting with that is harder. What do you want me to do with that? Would you put this in your mouth? I wouldn't. Your gum. I'll, I would, I don't know what I would do with that. That was giving a, what's her fucking name? Bobby. Bobby. Hey! Dude, she's Welcome back to Impulsive. Do you think she'll come on? She'll go on uh, Impulsive. She won't come on. We haven't, I, I think we either reached out to her or something, but she's been crushing it, her dry style. Yeah, um, it's incredible. I read a thing she about- She sent me her agency email, which means no. No, I read a thing today about how she got, because everyone's big question is like, how the fuck did you get such huge guests so quickly? People well, think she's an industry plant. Industry plant. plant. I, is that term real? Does that actually exist? I don't, I don't know, but if so. it is, like, how do I get planted? I want- <laughs> I'm fucking. You already have been. No, you're, you're honestly so true. I, you're here. I always say I'm like I'm, in, I'm I'm like a social media like nepotism kid. Like I had no, I didn't have to. Oh gee, <laughs> I know nothing about that. Yeah, honestly, like, you, you, I'm, I'm following, yeah. I'm following oh, no, your footsteps. No, but also, but also at the same time, like Demean Brookie, don't like that. let don't ever discount yourself, right? And I'll tell you why. Is. I'll tell you why. And I know you're not, but I just want to say this really quick. There was a point where Kanye West sat in a studio and his sole job was to make beats for Jay-Z to blow up into Jay-Z songs. Mm. There was a point where Lil Wayne said, yo, let that let little homie Drake hop on a track. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What you're now doing by way of building something for yourself based on that, that cosign that you got is the real story. A lot of people get cosigned. A lot of people get put on. It's yeah. do they have the ability to create longevity for themselves? That's that's the real and talent. story. Like and she's talent. fucking talented. So you should be proud of yourself, guys. Like, yeah, honestly. Well, no, but it is way. like, I, I always think about it in terms of nepotism and stuff because it's like, that is like, I had an unfair advantage, but you could also just do nothing with it. And then it's like, yeah. A lot of people and do I've, that. Yeah. Like you can think about all the people, Logan or I, or whoever the fuck have like given clubs to and they just jerk off with it and it's gone. And it's like, you have to be fucking funny, you know? Do yeah. you have staying power? And from what I understand, yeah. you know, the audience on, for you guys loves both of you. They love you. Oh, yeah. You took a little bit of a hiatus, but you know. We're back. And we're back. back and life is Thank good. God. Oof, that Mike, was I've scary. Got, I've got to break something down for you. Mm -hmm. I'm in a little bit of a scandal right now. What do I do with this? Gum. I'm gonna just put it right here. Just put, no, it, put, we'll put it, it here. Put it, on, put it on the cap of our thing. I'm, I'm really sorry about that unprofessional. Last time we scenario. were in New York, I think we actually made out. Why is so it so small? We're gonna get into only... our last New York trip in a second, Mike. You guys but... made out by accident. That changes everything. No, we made out so by accident, like the way friends do. It was like it just seemed like, like shaking hands. Yeah, it just seemed like it was fun. We're we're at the box, uh, which is obviously just such a ridiculous place, and I might go tonight. If you want to run it back, I don't, I, you know I'm I'm on a new. Oh 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 oh! If that's the case, then yeah, absolutely. I'll be. Well, actually, I think I saw you make out with Steven on a vlog recently. That was that fake. Can, that was fake. That was fake. That? Who's Steven? Um, one of Jeff's besties. That was fake and that was scripted. And I didn't. Well, actually, I did peck Steven. You made out with Ashley again for the bit. Who's Ashley? Good question. <laughs> really? Oh, Ashley Schwann? Oh, my answer. God. Bro, 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 bro. I'm so sorry. We're sitting here. She's not here. Like, like there's a lot of people Think named Ashley. Think about the amount of Ashley's. He's probably just dude, actually had sex. Dude, probably. Ashley is, is such a comment. Yo, honestly, I would go as far as saying... And I know this is going to get back to like some chick in like Scottsdale or something. <laughs> Ashley may be the quintessential thought name. Like I really fucking mean that. Like think of a think of a more representative name for the thought community than Ashley, bro. What's up there? Like Taylor? Taylor's as far as I remember are pretty hard to crack. Like Give I think <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Taylor's, Ashley, I, Ashley's are just what? Spread dude, eagle. Ashley's bro. Whenever, bro, if you go to Scottsdale, Arizona and you go That's to like, I'm from. and you go Watch to like out. cake, right? Or fucking like bottled blonde or something. I'm telling you, there's an Ashley there that's looking to have a fucking good time. She's dude. running from this conversation. I should be I running far from this conversation. I sure do wish I could automate some things in my life, whether it's doing laundry, grocery shopping, or a robot that could dust and clean my house. We live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce, business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. Save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry leading discounts. ShipStation has the easiest dashboard to manage your orders. 
They have a free trial and a quick setup. And now is the time to try ShipStation if you've been on the fence. ShipStation shipping has the absolute lowest rates on the market, especially compared to what's out there. ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order from one simple dashboard, print shipping labels, easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization Optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. With industry-leading discounts, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use my promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. And 90% of companies that use ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code CANCELLED today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code CANCELLED. Get a 60-day free trial at ShipStation.com slash CANCELLED. Thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring today's episode. Okay, Mike, I have to talk about something. I'm serious. It's serious. This means a lot to me, and I need you to weigh in. And I actually tried to navigate this myself, um, and I, I feel like you're actually a part of this scandal. You're a part of this story. Okay. I'm a part of no scandals. In Tana's version. Yeah. <laughs> you are a big, you're a big factor of this, okay? I'm in Malibu one day, and I get a call from Mike Lovesack, my favorite guy in the world. Yeah. Can I get and Lovesack? I always say this with you, around or not around, <laughs> that I know when I answer the call, I'm going to hold it maybe a couple inches away from my face <laughs> because it's going to be so loud and so definite, yeah. whatever you are telling me. Yeah. And you say... Essentially, you need to get on a fucking plane to London tomorrow and you need to go fucking film 20 versus 1 with the Sidemen. And I brought it up enough on this channel, so I'm not even going to explain it. If you don't know what it is, fucking look it up. But you tell me, I need to go do that. And I'm back and forth with you. I'm like, I don't really like London. Do I do it? How worth it is it? You, do you need to fucking do it? Do you know how many fucking OnlyFans subscribers you're going to fucking get from this shit? Get on the fucking plane. Get, 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 get. Hey, didn't say that. Hey, <laughs> when you said this, though, here's the thing. When you said this, I said, this is why I'm talking to you about this, because I needed someone to be like, go fucking do it. Shut the fuck up. Get in your bag. That's why I love Jeff. That's why I love Brooke. I work well with people who are fucking blunt and upfront with me. Go you know? work, Tana. Thank go you. To, go to work. Yeah. I went. Yeah. I, I'm in the chat with you and some people from the Sidemen, and I'm kind of beating around the bush like, hey, would it be okay if you booked page business class with me? You call me back. You go, don't ask what you want. Tell, Tell them what, what you want. want. Damn right. And you say that. I said these people have, the, the sidemen are rich, bro. Okay. Is, and oh, wait. So there's like something going on with this, right? Yeah, we're going to yeah, get there. Okay, we'll sorry. My bad. Up. But you I'm say, ahead of the, you say, you know, they're a hundred million dollar fucking corporation. If you need a flight for someone, book it. That. And I think I may have gotten a wee bit carried away with that sentiment. This is your Paige fault. gets her flight booked. It's about two hours before we're leaving to London. I'm with one of my. My besties, Ty. You met Ty at Coachella. You were saying he was cock blocking you and Ashley. And I want Ty to come. <laughs> <laughs> and I want Ty to come. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know that he was. No, I you, he was you cool said the gay you best friend always. always no, I said, I said that you have to get through the gay bestie because they, you have to schmooze the gay bestie because they generally act as the gatekeeper <laughs> for the girl that you're going after if there is a gay bestie. So basically, if you've seen Lord of the Rings, there's always there's a, gay a character bestie. named Gandalf that stands with a large uh, cane, like a, a big piece of wood, and he says, you shall not pass! Okay. <laughs> with a giant I can't wood. imagine Ty saying such a thing. Well, no, he <laughs> didn't say that. But he, he said it with his... Uh, no, it wasn't even that. I just wanted just to make that, sure... That's his character in the story. Yeah, so I want to make sure that they're comfortable before I even start, like, even getting involved with the girl. So usually when I meet gay Bessie, I shake hand... Yo, is there anything I can get you? A vape? Like, a vape is where I go immediately, bro. I'm like, can I get you a vape? Is that what the gays or want? If it's, sometimes, or if it's late at night, some mozzarella sticks, maybe a couple chicken tenders. You like like poppers? I, no poppers. I, I, Why dude. do you know what those are? Yeah, what? Okay. Everybody knows what Anyways. They are. Sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, I'm kidding. Sorry. I loved every second. Okay. I've always wanted my own Buca de Beppo moment. That was for the impulsive <laughs> listeners. I wanted a Mike Maylock yell. Okay. But. I decide to tell a fun little fib to the Sidemen production team <laughs> that 
I, I want Ty to come and I say he's my makeup artist. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why I got carried that? away. <laughs> yeah. I got so carried away and I say he's my makeup artist. Then we spend the whole flight. I'm coaching him on how to look like he's my makeup artist. Yeah. We get to set. He's fake touching me up. Every time I actually need a touch up, I'm going in the bathroom and doing my own lip liner and ties being like, Tana needs a touch up, going to take a shot. It's this whole bit. And then we get away with it. They believe it. They're like, she looks beautiful. Like they're shaking Ty's hand, so on and so forth. My dumbass podcast about it. It comes out while I'm still in London on the side men's dime. Okay, so at what point no. do you ask me something? Because you no, just no, no. you just told me you self snitched on the fact that you provided <laughs> Arsley's gay bestie oh. as a fucking. Uh, a, a, as a makeup artist, which he clearly isn't. At People all. go to school f to be aestheticians. Is that the right word? <laughs> no. Close though. Sorry. Really okay, close. Okay, okay, go on. Go on. I, so the sidemen find out and I mean, I can find out is funny. She told them. I, I told on myself yeah. um, very quickly. I'll show you this clip and we'll insert it in. But did you know that Tana scammed us? Yes. Scammed you how? So we wanted her to do this video. <laughs> He's so we clipped. said, oh, we'll fly <laughs> you go. out, put you up in a hotel, you do the video, whatever. She's like, cool. I have my assistant, I think the first one was. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, can I bring my assistant? We're like, yeah, of course. Fly her out too, get the hotel. She's like, oh, I really need this makeup artist. Yeah. And we're like, really yeah, need this makeup yeah, artist. Yeah, well, like, on set fair enough. Me. Like, you know, he's hmm. doing a video for us. Fly him out, get his hotel. She does a whole video, mm -hmm. says, can I stay for an extra few days? We're like, yeah, of course, we'll pay for it, whatever. She flies back, does a podcast with the guy. Turns out it's just her friend. Yep. Never done makeup in his life. <laughs> and they had the whole flight teaching him how to look like he was putting makeup on her. <laughs> the no. game is the game. She got us, but. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, why don't you just be real? Just be like, oh, can I, have two can friends? I also have two friends instead? Yeah. yeah. We would have been like, yeah, sure. I don't know why you had to try and be like, make up this whole makeup <laughs> yeah. ordeal. I don't know, it's weird yeah, behavior. Just, yeah. Weird behavior, Tana. Why didn't you just say that you had another friend that you wanted I to- I get it though, because you don't want to look greedy. You don't want to be like, okay, like, yeah, one friend, can I have two friends? So it's easier to be like, But also, oh. but also, but also- I also just thought they wouldn't literally give a fuck. And no one cares, like, he doesn't actually give a fuck. No, they don't, they don't care, but here's my question. Why, why did you need to bring him? At all. For, to who? That's no, what I, I want to know because I didn't fucking get invited. Yeah, yeah, why didn't you bring her? Such like, a good question, you know Mike. At saying? least I could have fucking done something out there. To be fair, it was two hours before I the could touch left. her up. Here's you what, were asleep. I was earlier. with Here's, you at the time. Listen. I didn't think you wanted you're to go You're not going to go up against us oh right God, now, okay? Disgusting. Because. It's <laughs> 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 no, my worst nightmare. Listen to me. Jeff, you lying piece of shit. Where are you? Okay, here's my question to you. I should have just told them it was my friend. No, you shouldn't have. Here's what you should have done. Okay. You're, a biz you're a businesswoman, Tana. I don't know if you're a businesswoman or if you just have smart business people around you, but here's what I would have wow. done. Sounds I would have like said this. <laughs> yes, I will come out to do your 20v1. In fact, that sounds incredible. I've seen Sidemen Tinder, and I know what these boys are capable of and what that can do for my channels. I do have one request, that I can fly a friend out there in business class with me, and that at least three of the side men will shoot a podcast for Cancelled with me. I will be bringing Brooke with me, and we'll be shooting a podcast as well while we're out there. If that's cool, I'd be more than happy to go. But instead, Tana, what you did was you brought Paige, you brought Gay Bessie and pretended that he was a makeup artist, you went out there, you gallivanted, you shenaniganed, and you threw away what could have been an incredible opportunity. Okay. So yes, throw I'm away taking- is crazy. To be fair, Mike, also on the phone, you say, if you don't like London that much, why don't you just Go bop around to Ibiza. Go be a fucking thought in Europe. That's what I did. I did what you told me to do. I said Second after all, London, Tana. I didn't say just do that. I said go to London I first, also, I handle did, business, and then go thought I around I went and shot Ibiza. 20 versus 1. I did what I'd like to and think it was to great. be an amazing job. Fantastic. I didn't really honestly even think to have them on canceled. There was a three-day notice, Mike. <laughs> And I want to tie there. But here's what I'm going to say. I want I've to apologize. To I want to apologize for, you know, I could have been honest. I could have just said it was my friend, but I what I... What I'm saying is I'm happier here because I think that you got in my head. <laughs> it was your fault. Well, dude, I'll, I'll be honest to play the other side of it. The Sidemen are rich, dude. They have a massive production budget. If you want to pretend that you're gay, but best he's a makeup Honestly, artist. Honestly, oh, hilarious lie. It, like, that's the funniest and lie. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do things for the plot. I was like, this is going to be a really funny story on Cancelled. I'm also, I guess, bringing, you know KSI a lot better than I. Yeah. You know he doesn't really give a shit. He gives a shit about some things. That's I don't, specifically oh yeah, no, no, no. He definitely does. He's definitely, I'm saying, he's definitely not actually mad that I. He's not I, mad at all. I'll tell I could have said Ty was my janitor. I could have said Ty was my dog walker. He's not really upset about I'll that. I'll tell you this to, to, to clean this up. If you had said that you were bringing another friend and brought another friend. I agree. I was you bring two friends and then the story dies. 
the fact that you lied, created a profession that doesn't exist for a friend of yours, <laughs> taught them how to do makeup on a plane, and then actually had them create makeup magic in London, gave not only the sidemen a topic to monetize on a podcast to make more money, but, but gave you a chance to respond to it to make more money, and now the ball's in their court if they want to continue on. So Tana Manjau, I will say <laughs> that you're a business icon, you're a legend, and Forbes 30 Under 30 is missing out without yeah, you. Yeah, so that answers your <laughs> earlier question. I might just question. have a good team around me. No, that's what I was going to say. That is an answer to your, your, your previous question. She is the businesswoman. You crushed it. It's really just a silly little story. I love KSI. I love them all. And I just wanted Mike's take and I got it. I think it. it was so funny. But very, I very wish it was me. Can you please take her to London? London is a wonderful city. Yeah, I enjoy yeah, London I, very I much. I still don't know if I enjoy it. The yes, I'll take you if you want to go. I think canceled this touring there soon before the year's over. Perfect. And have some UK dates. The jury split on London. The food is a bit iffy. Um, That's what everyone's saying. Bad food. The weather is a bit iffy. But it, and but, people, they hate Americans. Uh, and other, no, no, no. Okay, no. be me though. Be a bleach blonde bimbo. No, nope, they do not. They, let me let me tell you this. The city of London is incredible. I, and, and I really want to say this and shout out to all the people listening from the UK. The city of London is incredible. It is one of the most culturally relevant uh, historical cities in the world. Fashion, uh, what has happened there, World War there II history. The city is incredible. Fish and chips, Mayfair Chippy, incredible. There's a lot of really cool, there's good clubs there. Shout out Tape Tuesdays. There's a ton <laughs> of stuff to do in London and you just need to open hey, your eyes. Let's and go they from love New York YouTubers. to London. Let's learn about World right? War Three. I I hate There's fish, no but let's World eat it. World War Three, yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Bro. Question to what we were already talking about. But as a man, I need to know. If you res respect a woman, mm -hmm. okay, yep. how long Not are you waiting? Not if he's ever done that. <laughs> Don't go Stop on a tangent. I it won't go a on a tangent, but I will say this. I respect all women. I, I love women. Okay, but if you if you like care about and respect a, like a woman, maybe one you just met, like care about is like pushing it. Mm -hmm. Respect a woman. How long is okay to wait in between sleeping with her and texting her again? Like how much time can pass before it's like he does not respect a, you or care about I you at all? I just need a couple more factors here, okay? Okay. It, these are kind of irrelevant, but they help paint a picture. Had you just met at a bar and gone home for a, a flamey hookup? Uh, had you guys been talking for a little while? What? Give me a, just one more data point to work off of. Met at a work event. Okay. Met up later, like, or he, he had us over, like, for a, a family, like, little party. Okay. Slept together there. Waited seven days. Okay. Com com obviously completely unacceptable. Ridiculous. Uh, unless something tragically embarrassed happened. If he came in three seconds, if he couldn't get his dick hard, I can understand if, like, he had some sort of reason to try to like come up with an excuse or something. It, how was the sex? Great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I would say, honestly, how, how, how did you get home? He came back and slept over at my house. So you hook up elsewhere. You he then comes back to your house and and you sleep and sleep yeah. over. Did you guys hook up again at your yes. house? And then uh, he he actually stays the night yes. on the first night. He leaves the next morning. Yeah. Right. And then and then he, there's no. And, and what was the exit like? No, just really nice. Really like like you know he spent like the morning. It was nice. Did he make a drunken mistake? No. Well, no. Because I've since gone on another date with him. But now I'm like, am I am I talking to this person who doesn't respect me? Uh, respect and care are two different different words. I, 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 okay. <laughs> he may respect you, but not care. If I hook up with a girl and they leave the night that I hook up with them, I'm texting or calling them that night okay, to so make sure that they got into their house. Okay. To make sure that they're safe. Them. Regardless, if, if, if me and a girl have a transfer of that energy, I feel the, the, that it is a responsibility of mine to over respect and over promote the idea that that it, that their like no matter brain, what it, it was is, fun, yeah. Yeah. and that they they that that it was a comfortable you know situ like well that he knew I was home safe because right? I was home but like I measure a man in literally like the, like how much I think um, like the quality of a man is determined by how quickly I think he texts you after well he because has sex well because it's deeper than that right it's not just that that represents okay. When a girl, especially very early on after meeting a guy, when a girl decides to have intercourse with a guy, they are they are in a lot of ways kind of putting themselves out there. If you woke up the next morning and said, oh, you know, like maybe I rushed that, maybe this happened, maybe, 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 maybe. It's nice for the guy that you just 
had a major like life occurrence with to make you feel comfortable about yeah, the deed that you just I did with think. them. Okay. So, so to reach out and be like, hey, I had a lot of fun last night. Um, you're, you're super cool. I'd love to see you again. Whatever it is. What was his excuse for the seven days? Uh, he didn't have a good one. I mean, he has a, he he does have a, like a nine to five job. So he was like, but that was my major thing. I was like, he asked me to go nine out to again. Five, though, not That's what I'm saying. What about eight yeah. thirty? He asked, <laughs> he asked like, or like he was leaving, so he's like, let's go on another or like let's go on a date before I go. So I go, but I'm like, I gave him a hard time. I'm like, listen, second day, did you- seven days. Like you can't wait seven days. Uh, yeah, and he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. This one's a little tricky, and I'll tell you why. He left during the day. If you guys had an adequate enough departure from each other to qualify as the conversation that I generally have over text, I potentially could give him some level of immunity. Yeah, like what's the need? He can't text me like, did you get home safe? He left me at home, you know? Ugh. I don't know. I, I'm gonna lean in. I'm gonna lean against him on this one. It, 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 okay, okay. But what if? Okay, to, now to call him to call him disrespectful. No, but to call him a, a potential candidate for like boyfriend material. Like it just seems like he probably should have hit you up at some point during those seven days. That seems like as you guys would say. But a now red we have sense. We have sense gone on like a good quality date, and now he won't wait a seven days. But now, now I'm like that's yeah, in my head. What are you head. down to now? Three? I'm like, does he like, suck? How many no. days now? No, he's good. We're talking all the time. And but I'm like, da- me, I'm more. Cu- I'm just curious. Like, do I hate this man? I don't think you hate him. I mean, he's also loaded, so I'm biased. We're not. We don't care that he's loaded. <laughs> Tana, when will you ever change? <laughs> she, she knows I don't care. When will you if ever you, change? Uh, if you were me, like, if we switched bodies for 24 hours, I think that we would operate very similarly to how we operate in our own bodies. I was you when I was your age. So, so Pop-pop when dad. you become when you become my age. 80 you will you will be a little bit more cognizant of how th- certain things feel look empathy so on and so forth like i'm That's i'm, I'm very careful now and i and and to be honest you're with still you still fucking and if anything your currency just might be different than my currency you're like this girl is super hot and looks good with me and so on and so forth and maybe my currency is this guy is rich and he pays for everything and he's- well that's their currency my currency has always been the same I have a huge dick, and I'm and I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say that I, I I'm like I, I, I believe it when I see it. I saw <laughs> he, I saw the his sex tape. You did. You showed me a sex tape of yours once. Can we say that? Do you have airdrop? All he that's fair. <laughs> I, I just I, I was kidding. I, it's it's above average. I wouldn't say it's huge by any means, especially with what we've seen this year from people like Lena the Plug. What I'm saying is this, okay? I, I, I no, no no I'm kidding about all that. My my currency is just is just good energy and a good time. And I agree so, with that. It, you can't just suck to be around. But I've been really trying to. I've been really trying to, for whatever reason, slow down. And okay. and so yes, you did see me on a date. I um, did. Yeah. Well, who was she? Did, you're going through you a breakup like right her now aren't for you? a second, right? I think yeah. that was like you're like. Yeah. You, said, you said you're you you're loose with the term girlfriend. Listen, I'm an impulsive stan. Okay. Yeah. It's uh. It's Is a, this the same girl that you just yeah, broke up with? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't use that term. Fear of commitment. I've had this happen to me. It, it maybe maybe parti- in partiality, but I've had this happen to me a little bit. I um. I just suck, dude. Honestly, I hate to. I hate to. I use, love the self awareness. I, I hate to use such a blunt term because I'm trying to talk better about myself. But like, I've just realized that that at this juncture, on the road, two hundred year, two hundred days a year. You know, this project, that project, that project. Okay, stop flexing. I'm just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> no, I, listen, it, it, that's it's, yeah, it's true. But but I've just realized that, like, honestly. I don't know. I, I don't know. And it might not even just be a timing thing. I, I, I've been, I don't know if you guys care about this, but I've been studying this philosopher named uh, Carl Jung lately, right? And he has this uh, entire analysis on neurosis, anxiety, and depression. Mm. And he has a way of breaking down this idea that people tend to fall into some of those uh, issues when nonconformists try to force conformity into their lives. If you know a wild person, would you qualify me as that? Like, like yeah. I'm very abnormal. I don't, yes. I don't apply Maybe to any not. traditionality, I, I convention, that. conventionality. And whenever I try, whether it was with Lana, whether it was with whoever since then, I, 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 I run like into a lot time. of internal struggle and it, and it affects way. my life. I it affects my way. work. It affects my, my sanity. And, and, and unfortunately I, I just, I, I think I just need to just, put this out there like don't 
talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate to be so hard on myself, but like, please just don't talk to me. I actually completely, completely understand that. I, Mike, I literally just tried this. Like, I tried to date like a normal, super good guy, like waiting on me hand and foot. Like, maybe not so funny, maybe not so wild, maybe not so rogue. Like, you know what I mean? And after a while, I was like, I'm going mentally insane trying to conform and make myself this golden retriever girl. That's okay. There's been yeah. a, there's been a, a big increase lately on conversation around traditionality and religion and conventionality and Andrew Tate and this person and that person, whatever. And I'm not saying that any of that is wrong. I love the idea of reintroducing some of those important traditional values back into society. I think we've lost our way in a lot of ways. But does that mean that you or I or anyone has to fit into this like cookie cutter mold? Absolutely not. I've been in relationships in the past. They've, They've worked out well. I've been comfortable in them. But for some reason lately, I just haven't been able to feel very good in them and do that you sucks feel like, and it's but do you think it's the person or do you think it's like it's just dating in general because like what if someone were to come along and you are able so, to so 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 yeah that's that's my hope I, I like we won't get into mental illness again tonight but i have a bit of an obsessive problem and my yeah. mind tends to um, overthink everything mm. and and so there will be situations that don't require any level of thought they're just situations that are just happening like and i'll spend a day two days yeah. three and I found that whenever I try to like force any kind of real format, uh, a conformity into my life, I get really deep into that thought process yeah. in my head. So, you know, I am me. I, I love people that are in love. God bless you. And that that's incredible. I but, have a question for you. Yeah. Do you feel like with, because you and Logan have been, you know, you do a lot of things together and I'm sure in ways, some of the things that either one of you do inspire each other, so on and so forth, whatever. Do you feel like seeing him get engaged made you be like, wait, should I be? Unless it was subconsciously, no. We don't spend as much time together as people would love to believe. He lives in Puerto Rico. I live in LA. I see him generally once a month to do two to three podcasts. We talk a couple times a week. That saddens me. Even just your public affiliation though. You know what I mean? I guess what you answered though, you said it. I think what happens sometimes is I get ahead of myself. And I think this, I think a lot of people can fall into this habit. Mm. Whereas if you have a problem, If you're a drug addict and you and you and you've been used to using heroin every day for ten years, mm-hmm. you which may obviously not, you don't know much about. But it's, yeah. You you may not <laughs> you may not give up heroin and also get a corporate job the next day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And fully shift from nonconformity over to like a high level of conformity. Yeah. So so right now my goal, my goal should have been stop being a degenerate become a little bit more responsible and then continue to work down a path towards traditionality. I tried to jump out of a fucking random foursome into a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like directly into a, exactly. It's not as And it just, I fucked myself up and unfortunately. I understand that. Yeah. I'm very all or nothing. I, I think it'll come like with that. time. I feel like you're just going to have to adapt slowly. Booty B.O. sounds funny. Having it? Not so much. That's why I'm excited to tell you about Lumi, the world's best whole body deodorant. It's clinically proven to control odor everywhere, pits, private parts, and beyond for a whopping 72 hours. As an OBGYN, Lumi's founder, Dr. Shannon Klingman, met thousands of women concerned with the odor below the belt. She discovered it wasn't the vagina to blame, but bacteria on the skin. So she created Lumi, a pH-optimized aluminum-free deodorant that actually works and works everywhere, with over 150,000 five-star reviews to prove it. Special offer. New customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code TANA at lumideodorant.com. Brooke and I spend every single day discussing how much we love Lumi with each other and using it before we go out on any escapade. I've applied it to the back of Brooke's knees and she's applied it to all of my holes. Lumi's whole body deodorant, the first of its kind. Lumi is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body. Pits, underboobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. Created by an OBGYN who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. Clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. How? Unlike some deodorants that try to mask odor with fragrance, Lumi is formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it starts. More like a pre-odorant. Aluminum-free, baking soda-free, and paraben-free. pH balanced for safe use below the belt. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like a mini body wash and 
deodorant wipes and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code TANA at LumiDeodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your order starter pack when you visit LumiDeodorant.com and use code TANA. Thank you to Lumi for sponsoring today's episode of Cancelled. But the reason why we're all here in New York is because tomorrow we are taking a sprinter van, the four of us, (laughs) to a place that I've never been. To New, New Haven, Haven Connecticut. Connecticut. Shout out to anybody in CT, Quinnipiac, Quinnipiac University. You know what we found out is that they have apparently the best pizza in the, the entire, best pizza like, world. on the planet. Dave Portnoy, obviously. We just as, spoke to him about it. Like we just met him a couple minutes ago. I met him for the go, first where time today. Is Lovely. the pizza? He's, and he told us Sally's. We heard something else. Pe- Pepe's, Pepe's, Pepe's and Sally's Pepe's. are on the same road. Uh, he said that Sally's is the one. Sally's is the one out of those two. Modern is better than both of them. Uh, Zoo parties is incredible. I don't know. You're the burger guy. Listen, I'm not talking to you for pizza. Well, I'm the I'm I'm, I'm I'm the burger guy, but I'm also from there, right? Oh, and are so you? yeah, and Jeff's also tried Jeff! uh both of them as well. I'm Hello. so happy. I'm so Yay. happy. How's everybody doing? Hi Jeff. Good to see you. So good. How I are my you? Favorite oh my post. god. <laughs> my number one. He's getting all everyone, the love thinks, everyone thinks me and Jeff. You hate better each look other. at her the whole time, like Jeff. Oh, is that the shirt him? you bought? Holy shit, that's yeah, sick. Has he told you impulsive is number one trending right now? <laughs> yeah. Did you bring that up? Boy, yeah. has Did he, he say that? He's laughing. I gotta laugh already. I'm gonna kill this. Can you tell me what that was like for you sitting there while they fall off? On the show, fucking I mean it was entertaining because like I like to see chaos and I feel like I caused a bit of it. You know, I caused that breakdown between them and maybe it'll make them grow stronger maybe it'll make them hate each other for life why did you cause it i just asked i was like i was like yo so if ksi gets knocked out what happens you still fight and then they went on a fucking tangent i'm better than you know i'm better than you know i'm better than you and then uh, me and mike tried to be like no no it's okay to do that as a fighter it's good to think that and then fuck shut the fuck up we got yeah. shit to unpack oh see it. like lit a little fire and then i just keep seeing back. memes of you straight twiddling your thumbs just why it's so lit nobody else even fucking noticed i was there <laughs> it was, and it's hard to not talk but you know i don't care really because it's not my show but for mike like he couldn't even get a word in on his own show and i try i got some good he's me- got, he got in enough some yeah. sometimes it just has to be that way <laughs> yeah yeah no no we've i mean we've learned if you if you have people on the show that are willing to run with it and cr- cr- create that type of environment for themselves i just wanted to jump in whenever something was completely wrong yeah. like if somebody delivers something that just that the entire audience and the whole world knows is not going to be true i'm going to stick my hand in and be like yo like nah. let's be honest that's not the yeah. case we but can otherwise only say like so many words you know we can only say so many words on podcasts and sentences before they start coming out again and repeat them, i mean you if know? you challenge me i can say so many i can say more words like, than you no, can ever he can say the most words yeah, out of anybody on a podcast you don't have that I'm many opinions i don't care about that many things like how many things are we going to give our opinion on you know before you start just saying other opinions is this you quitting podcasting Sometimes I just lie. I just start making things up sometimes. Will you do another episode of Impulsive? Uh, Yeah, of course. Yeah, and and like whenever they need, I think they're stopping it, right? Wasn't it the last episode? Ever. What? Break it yeah, all canceled. Yeah, it's uh I believe that we're probably gonna be going into a break because Logan is in fight camp. Are you gonna keep it up by yourself? That's the conversation right now. Is it gonna be me and Jeff hosting? Is it gonna be me, Jeff, and a a um female random Paul. co-host the per- female Paul? Wow. We, you got me. Is there a female lawsuit? Po- oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen yet. Am I gonna take that time to finally get my own shit? So like I don't know what is gonna happen in that in that oh, time wow. period. So but uh well, good good job breaking it. Yeah, thank you, honestly, for the break on time. I know, dude. Oh, it's it's fine. Fine. Yo, bro, Stop, edit that out. No, we t- I think no. we talked about it. No, I think please we give us the, the exclusive if we need views uh, up. <laughs> so we actually just were starting the conversation on why we're all here. You want to break it? Uh, we're here. We're doing a show, a live show. Oh, what's going on? I thought you guys did this podcast yesterday. <laughs> why is it, it going to read We that? meant to, but Tana told too many stories she wasn't supposed to tell. I told the story. This is a Bruce Buffer episode. This is a Bruce Buffer episode. I told too many stories I couldn't have canceled. Like literally 50 like minutes of an hour like long what episode. the story about you yeah. having yeah. sex with that person that she shouldn't mm. have which is honestly like the theme of our whole show yeah Ooh. I fucked the help and so she's told, not the help she's a nice woman with a good I, job I, I employ <laughs> on a salary and I had sex with her did That's you have any point. thoughts what's on new huh <laughs> what's new the, oh here you go with the let's boom. bring up the Jeffrey Shore because the finale has just come out and you know people are I say, oh I heard it. it was pretty crazy 
crazy hookups. You lied to me several times. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck did I lie about? There were just a lot of cameras that I don't think I knew about. And I would have maybe moved a little different. Or I was so drunk I didn't know about it. You, you know, that second one. It was the second oh, one. Okay. You know, and that's <laughs> My, reality TV. You mm. know this about it. You've done it before. I did it. I made mistakes in reality TV. There's no secret to that. You love to talk about them all the time, every chance you get. And he so, was a main character in Jersey Shore. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm talking about. That's the one not I'm talking his about. season of Bad Girls. Yeah. Did she make out with um, Steven? Yeah, but no, I was acting. Steven, and that was a bit. It was acting, though. Yes, but the thing is, what in our I will videos, say is, it brought me back to like my MTV days. Like I, I love this, where it's like I come to this table and I sit down and I know, like the camera on you twenty four seven. I, I think I'm realizing, like I may just be too insane for that, you know. There was or only just, like two I hours. Think that's a, a, made a, for a you, night, you no, know. But we stretched it out. We stretched it out. We f we were there for two days, right? We the Jersey Shore takes two months to film all that, but the third day we were all just it was awkward because the fight happened, and you know, yeah. now in the videos you never know what's real and what's not. You and know? Be, be careful there; there's gum on that. Um, also, just I feel like even just with our friend group, <laughs> none of us really know what's a bit or what's not sometimes, and then things kind of sometimes, not always, but just take it as it's all a bit. It's all Yeah, for, and then all of a sudden Jeff and Ryan are like actually fighting in cold blood. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going well, on? Well, Ryan here? was actually fighting. I was just kind of like figuring it out what was going on. <laughs> but it's just like I haven't been drunk in so long that I forget what it's like to be drunk. Like mm. I completely forgot it. And mm. like I trying to understand people when they're drunk. Like I could feed off energy and like get into it. And I feel like I'm kind of drunk too when I'm in that. Yeah. But when, when Would people get to the point where they're like, just completely not the same person anymore. I'm like, how does that happen? How do you make that? Yeah. Very easily for some. Yeah. Tag yourself. I'm some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? It's Tag immediate. Yourself, it's some. one drink. She's gone. Yeah. So why are we here? In yeah. Well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, we no, are doing she's it. been trying to get it out for like the past 20 minutes. It's fine. Go honestly, ahead. the tangents are good. Well, we're here for the canceled live shows and you are doing a 10 out of 10 burger pop up. And we are, uh, this is a proper crossover episode. right? I now. guess there's really no Mike, point in like giving the full spiel because by the time this episode comes out, no one will. It'll all be over. Like the weekend. Well, no, will be over. I mean the tour will still be going on. Your guys' well, your burger thing. Friday, will be no, over. this comes out Friday. Oh, oh. If you're watching this from New Haven, Connecticut, or the surrounding area, the tri-state, you go to Quinnipiac University, you're you know, back at Yale. God forbid you go to Yale and you watch this. Nobody show. who watches this Not show one goes to Yale. Who's ever went to Yale? Absolutely ever. Has come to canceled. come Not to the once. Ten Ten Burger Pop Up via restaurant Friday, Saturday, Sunday. T uh, tickets for I think Toad's Place show are sold out, right? Yes, we have sold out all three shows. And wow, we are so excited! So if you're going to that show, you may be seeing special guests at that show. Yeah. Too, right? like this, I'll fucking sit guests. this way. <laughs> special guests you know? in question. If you, if you don't look at one person too much, you might get canceled. In the comments yeah, what's below. the deal with that? I can't look at Brooke because I have no peripheral peripheral oh, wait, no, vision. I, that that was like a, sometimes they, there's like these stories that get made up. One of them is like me and Jeff's imaginary feud. Yeah. Look, the truth is I hate Brooke and I can't stand the side of her. So that's why I didn't The funny thing direction. about it is if that actually were the case, because I, I tend to always side with her. If yeah. we ended up in like a two on two like battle somehow, it's actually crazy to imagine how easily Brooke and I would win that. I, I'm like, like, I, think, I, mean, I mean, that's absolutely like, true. Like, like it, I've never been so here. sure no chance. of anything no in chance. my life, depending on what things. Like you, sportsmanship, maybe it would be a bit testier. But like from a debate standpoint, like you guys are smoked. Like all of the brain bro, powers. You talk on this about side shit I don't care about, bro. You want to talk about politics and fringe this shit and fucking <laughs> uh, far or whatever. Do you I, nobody cares, stuff? bro. You want to talk about Probably. abortion and 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 like. I'm not gonna lie. I was about to back down fully and be like, I think you're right, Mike. Because I, I think they would just gaslight so fucking hard what? that it'd be like fuck. you're the gaslighter you're there we go yeah. you see, that's Jake what, Paul versus you Logan you telling them that, that, that you telling them that their gaslighters is gaslighting who's <laughs> <laughs> but then Jeff Wait, let's bring Jeff over here. Oh, yeah. God damn. No, yeah. not, no but now I'm going to pick me. I'm like, get one. the boys over here. Over there. <laughs> we should, uh, maybe your audience will tell me if this is right or not, but there may be a format there. There may be a format there. Like a two-on-two? Like, two? Yeah, it could be vlog content. Yeah, that's what we all need, is. another podcast. We should do a, like a fight. Like, like <laughs> that's the, all what we all need at this moment. Look, my vision this way, like I can't see who's over there. I could see you guys here. So if I wanted to talk to somebody there, I would have to be like this, you know, the no, whole time. No, it was, but it was, it was, I think it was more me than you, but I think that since it was like on our show, they blamed you. I think I get, Fair. like, I, yeah. so, I sometimes have a hard time differentiating between when you're telling a joke and when you're not. Me? Yeah. What? You so can't I tell? get like scared. 
hard to be funny sometimes around you because you don't laugh at things. And He's I'm, dry. I'm, I bait like my so much of my value. <laughs> no is, dry humor. No, I don't mean like no, but like I place so I much value like in like people laughing at me. So if yeah. I make a joke and someone doesn't laugh, so uh, after like two jokes where you didn't laugh, I never made a joke to again. To be fair, when I met Jeff, I kind of learned right. what he like the type of jokes you find funny. And because here's what I think: I think 98 percent of what I say is a fucking banger, and that's a problem yeah. I'll work out. Yeah, me on my too. Own. But but I know that I know there's a 40 percent of those bangers that Jeff will laugh at. But if I'm making like a Twitter TikTok joke, or if I'm making like a nothing, nothing like something like a little happen. yeah, you know. Why well, hey, I started getting insecure, bangs. so then I never yeah, wanted to yeah, speak yeah. again in the presence of you. No, get the fuck out. Well, of now here. I'm no, fine. I, now I'm good. I choose yeah, to be good. here doing this with you guys. I think you're all really talented. Even Mike, I give Mike shit all the time. <laughs> I talk shit. <laughs> I, I talk shit on Even him all the Mike. time, but Mike is one of the best podcasters in the game. He's very smart. I know I just gave him shit. Like I said, he talks about all that bullshit, but that's good to, to know. You should know that stuff if you're going to be a podcaster. You know, you. that's yeah. what happens in the real Agreed. world. We're like gay son, thought daughter. <laughs> yeah. Every and I, you know, every week. <laughs> that's why we're good together because you care about that stuff and I don't. And well, I think it's a cool <laughs> I think it's a good balance, you know? And and also, I think both of us also, and like, let's talk about Jeff FM for a second, like one of my favorite shows to do. I think both of us have the ability to go to the other side as well. Like you're not, mm. like you're not not deep. Like you can hit, you can, you can get into certain topics. If I bring up a topic, you can certainly get there. You have a wealth of, of life experience. You've been through a lot of trauma. You know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't track a lot of the same topics as me, but like, yeah, like but also, yeah. but also who's, who's watching the show? Like people watching canceled, they might want to know like how many cameras exactly were on Jeffrey Shore. Like that might be a topic that I don't know what interest this. Aaron, how many cameras? Aaron, no, but I'm just saying. How many like, cameras were there on, on me talking Shore. about like me talking about like commitment issues and red flags and shit like that? I don't know if we that's talk about for that. Them. Sometimes we do talk. Or like Carl Jung philosophies. Like something tells yeah, me they yeah, don't yeah, give yeah. a shit about yeah, that. Yeah, you, lo you lost the okay, girls. sorry. Yeah. But I, I appreciate it. I'm always down for a conversation like that off camera, but I think that the viewers, I think that, you know, if you're signing up to cancel to, I'm not saying you can't learn a few things emotionally, but I'm saying like for the most part, it's Ooh, like you're got it, sitting. Got it, got it, got it. Just turned 9-11. I caught that on camera. You're here to talk about. <laughs> you see that? You're here to talk about dicks. Silly shit. Well, you're here to talk silly about shit. Not so much that, but it's like when we do give people like like life advice or try to like sound insightful, people are like, you guys are the least qualified people ever. And people enjoy that. sometimes the trauma and other things like that. They like when we get deep occasionally, but I think people want to feel like they're sitting down with us on a couch. Like, For sure. Like the way it's like sorority girls wake up the next morning after their night out and they all get on Oh, that was my favorite thing. You're like, I did this last night. That's. I think that's the vibe of cancel. I think people shouldn't be on a podcast if they're under 25. There should be like a rule, like you can't drink if you're 21. Because if you don't, if you're not above 25, for you guys, it's different because I don't know, you're just different. You're the, I'm 25. You're, I'm 26. It, okay, yeah. So Are you it, copying what I said on Bradley Martin's podcast, which was exactly this? I didn't, I, I watched I it on two speed it. and I was I just waiting for you to talk about me. I tweeted me. it too. I said, if you're, I just said, if you're Don't under you 25. Have like Ryan well, there you and go. Steven on we, all the time. Your and that's, they're, they fucking derail my show every time. They have no life experience. <laughs> I hate it. They don't know anything. Like, what do they bring to the show? Ryan's good. Ryan, but that's Ryan is lying. Ryan's 35 years old. Ryan, there's no way that he's fucking. People always say that about me. But you, you, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but you need, you need, you need to go through it. You need to live. Yeah, life. you have to have some kind of like major to learn to learn to learn how to live. Do you want to know period. the one reason? The one way I know that I the greatest thing about this show is it's so easy to know that I've lost one of the co-hosts attention because Tana will send a novel out text message while I'm talking. Yeah, <laughs> like she literally will pick up her phone and be like. With the vape in one hand, just be like, mm -hmm. but Mike, I'm no, not she's gonna lie. She's a multitasker. A My girl is a multitasker. Oh, you got <laughs> those nails off, huh? You got rid of your Wait, long nails. Wait, these are cute. Oh, this I is because she hooked up nails. with a woman. I like that. That's it's not because I hooked up with a woman. This has been going. For That's me. fucking hot. You see those? Thanks, Jeff. It is. You, you did tell me that that was one of his first deterrents of me. Um, Mike, here's the thing. Sometimes I think you are a very profound, vast, knowledgeable, multifaceted individual. But sometimes you can be going on a <laughs> tangent, <laughs> and I could face. I could spark notes what you're gonna say. I kind well, I just, might know. I know you well. I well, hear no, a lot of no. This. It just depends on your um, appetite span. and attention span. Like I, I would consider you to be like a Vine baby, like Logan. Like you would prefer everything to be said in six seconds. Like I fucked her. And it was, and that was the end of it. Or you know what I'm saying? Interest. Like, 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 like sometimes it takes a little bit more attention to span? get. What are you talking about? What's the point of even talking? What are you guys saying? So I don't know. I think you're awesome. Oh, Whose attention span's bad? Not mine. I Have it. I satisfied my needs here? Can Do you, you just We got a dinner. Okay, go to your the chain you smokers. Who else is there that I don't give a fuck about? Wait, None of those are people are there. No. I okay. just don't want to be late just because you lie. Because you said you can't be late. Gonna be there. If you think 
you need to be on Why time. Why would you need to be on that has Censor nothing, that name because that has nothing he's got beef with no, Logan no, Paul. No, no, no. It's, it's uh, John Schwartz. It's, and I just want to make sure that I'm on time for that. Bleep. Yeah. Yeah, just bleep. make it sound bleep. like. Bleep. You just keep saying. What are you saying? Bleep. Person. <laughs> oh my mm. God. Are you excited for that dinner? You hate this shit in New York. I feel like you hate the like. No, I love, I love, I love New York. I've been hanging out with all my friends. No, you love New York and like Staten Island, but like you hate the like. Yeah, I love Staten Island. I went, I went to the barber shop today. I was hanging out there for a I while. I was just gonna say, I feel like that's the only thing I like really know about you. I'm like, did you go to the barber shop? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was great. I loved it. We talked about all types of crazy shit in front of kids and families. Nick, you know Nick, the barber with the yeah, tattoos all over tats, his face. Yeah. He just blacked out all his skin now. It's just, you know, when you fill in the tattoo, when it's just like a whole. That's something I've never done and I would be so down. Well, for. it is I'm like a. That. Yeah. It's hot. Just his skin tattooed like a lizard. He's just like completely. Have you seen the person who actually turned himself like act into a lizard? Yeah, that's he, my like, friend. That He looks like that. <laughs> Wait, really? Wait, what do you mean? Like, like fully he, tattooed he, like, his skin. Oh, cut and, and his has, tongue. Like, so, yeah, cut oh, yeah, his I've tongue down the middle. Piercings. Uh -huh. You know, I'd do it. I feel like you would date that person. Yeah, that's, I think that's what she Does that, is that like up your alley? What do you guys think of the island boys kissing? Um, I don't really have an opinion. You know, I think they're just idiots doing shit for clout. But the back to the tattoo thing, I would do that. <laughs> I would do the tattoo shit if I like made a decision to release like a sex tape and like do OnlyFans, and then I regretted it all. I was like, "Fuck! I, I need to, you know, I to need to erase them. this." If you were so an island boy, tattoo were, my whole face and be a different person. If you were an island boy and you were the, the same level of clout and stature as the island boys, you had the same exact amount of success going for you. Would you hook up with your twin brother to keep it going? No. Wait, so are the island had, boys successful? So if you had no clout or success is what you're saying. Essentially, no, if you I was them, yeah. I would, I would so like, to, just like, but you I feel could like take out the whole first part and just say, would you hook up with your brother? Because they they have no clout or they're, they're completely on empty. That's okay, if you why, were on I think empty, that's, would you hook up, would you fuck your sister? Yeah, like wait, if it was your last <laughs> final straw. Like there was nothing more oh to do. Oh my God. It, when but, you but, but, when you put it into like your actual own sister, because I was thinking like, with you, no, 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 no. Like, you're whoa. saying you'd fuck Mike over your own sister? Would you guys ever hook up with a relative yeah. that's not related <laughs> to you by blood? Yeah, of course. I'd hope he would do the same too. That's <laughs> fucking way weirder if you... <laughs> What was you your know? question? I missed it. I don't know what my question was at this point. Would you fuck Mike or your own sister? Preferably neither, but if I had to, like, say my life was online, I'd say kill me. But say it was, like, <laughs> torturing me with, you know, like, burning my skin and saying you have to fucking stick it in one of them. Mike, all day, bro. I can't live with it. Who really would be the top story? or the bottom, you think, between you guys? Um, dude, I mean, we, I just said it, right? If he's the bottom, he's squished. Um, I'm 6'3", 220. That's enough, right? Enough for the show today? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to New Haven tomorrow. What do you think we're going to talk about on stage this? But yeah, just wait, live? can you guys help us? We're lost. We don't know what. We were just going to go up there and go, hey. Give Mike the microphone if it's going bad and he'll just. That's you what know. we're thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. He's like, so Yo, let's uh, talk about this philosopher. <laughs> Yo, Connecticut, make some noise for Mike. He's off of heroin. <laughs> you know, he used to fucking do drugs here. They're going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have I don't even know what to say on that podcast. I think it's I'm I think I'm podcasted out, dude. I think I've done too many hours of podcasts in the past few days. I can't I agree. I can't come up with any dick jokes right now. I can't come up with any decisions over if I want to fuck the island boys or Jeff. It's I'm like <laughs> at the end of my rope, my metaphorical I rope. I completely understand. You wanna talk politics? <laughs> I don't want to talk. Yeah, I just want to listen to you guys talk, to be honest. Shout out to Robin. You're my favorite mother out of all my friends' mothers. <laughs> You did a great Robin. job raising Mike, Mike's mom. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. So he's the smartest boy I know in this business. There's a breakup in the industry right now floating around. Um, we can't break that. I right? don't know if that's true or not. I just heard it from a kid in the gym, and he's not a valid source. But it's dope for us to let like giggle about, you know? Yeah. If it Who happens, we'll cut back to. Who this. is it? Can you believe it? I'm interested in some drama. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to be the one to put that out. That's there. like not no, even. Are they even in the industry? No, yeah. like nobody even, thing. nobody knows That's him. fair. Never no one gives a fuck about that. Everybody fell off but me. <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking do the show. Let's go. Let's go. I want to do a show now. Like a live one. That's how you feel? What would Should you, what would you, what, why don't you pull up a topic right now? What topic would you bring up if you walked on stage right now? A million screaming fans at Toad, 450 screaming fans you know, at Toad, you know, Toad's <laughs> place. New Haven. Yeah, you know where what I'm going What would you that. do? Mike, heroin, used to do heroin okay, here. Okay, you say that, everybody laughs, then what? What's your follow-up? 9-11. <laughs> That's where I was going to go I first. But I we have a serious hyperfix. Like, we talk about 9-11 more than we talk about, like, anything else. But it's, isn't it weird? Okay, wait, no, that's not uh, But how fascinating, like, 9-11, Holocaust, World War II. 
Like, I'm really into Chernobyl right now. Chernobyl is yeah, a good one, one, but Chernobyl is crazy. Chernobyl. I Chern- feel like... Uh, <laughs> what? Chernobyl. Who's Chernobyl? I feel 50% dumber than when I walked in this room. I, oh, I'm not kidding. You know what I'm doing? Awesome. I'm not kidding. You know what I'm doing? I feel like, like I walked in here with a 128 two. IQ and I'm walking out with a 106. I'm not fucking kidding, dude. Listen, I'm... Okay, Chernobyl, a nuclear explosion that hits the chair, a nuclear reactor... How do you say that, that, it? Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Yes, Chernobyl from the singer <laughs> Cher. <laughs> Chernobyl. How did you, did you only ever read it? Did you never hear it said before? Say it. Wait, they have. Chernobyl. Chernobyl. No chair. It's not a chair. There's no chair in it. I'm really sorry. We'll pick those things up. He just has a short temper. I think he's it's, having a tantrum. It's a honestly, it's so fascinating. Withdrawal. They just, uh, I think Hulu has a really good documentary on it. Mike, say it right now. One time. Chernobyl. And don't hit me. <laughs> I, just, I just thought about like three things I want to say when I go on stage tomorrow. Chernobyl. 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 Okay, I don't know how it's said in Russian. There may be a different like way to oh, say it. Oh, look at Russian. you. You don't even fucking know. I know it's not share or chair noble. <laughs> what was that? What was that like pesticide? Oh, Agent Orange. That, no, no, no. What was what 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 made everyone come out with no? Are limbs? you trying to come up with shit that's gonna get me in shit because you're doing it? Are you want to talk about Agent Orange right now? <laughs> Are you serious? I will fucking gl- I, you would make my whole day if we could talk about that. One minute on Agent Orange, but I'm setting a timer. I'm setting a timer. I'm setting a timer. Hold Agent, on. Orange. Agent Orange was during with the war in Vietnam. Correct. And okay, it was agent. a it was a pesticide that they use, right? I don't remember. Remember how exactly they got to the end game, which was a, it's a nerve agent. Are you sure it was? No, it no, 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 it was a, it, I thought it was World War One. No, it was in Vietnam, and it was a it was it was a pesticide that they used to kill the plants, right? And then people ingested it, and they had complications from it. I know because I went to college on a full veteran scholarship because of Agent Orange, a chemical heart herbicide and, and defoliant. Yes, uh, tax or use. It was and used by the U.S. military. Everybody in college thought that I was a veteran because I was on a full veteran scholarship. So every time that somebody would be like, uh, like your assignment's late, I'd be like, do you know what I've done for this country? <laughs> every time. I zoned out what an Agent Orange was, but I like your anecdote. Spray in Vietnam from 62 but to 71. But I was thinking of the med- medication that they gave the people who made all their babies come out with no limbs. Okay, well, that was the minute on Agent Orange. Jeff, now the floor is yours. What, yeah, what do you want to talk about on stage? Hey, no, you guys so- hear about them fucking aliens? <laughs> yeah, wait. That's a okay, good topic. Do we good- still have to go to work tomorrow? That's what I care about. <laughs> if those aliens ain't paying my fucking bills, who cares, right? <laughs> if the aliens came to Earth and they actually looked like like sexy avatars, like the blue, like sexy, like tall, Fucking fit, those aliens. Aliens, we're fucking the aliens. Is that bestiality? I think no. My, it's a my theory species. on my theory on humans, what no, humans it's a different, are. What's your theory? It's a different civilization. It's not even just a different species. It's a whole different. It would be like which makes it inter- Mike, worse You are about to be tapped out on this species. Interplanet. Yeah, you're about to run reality. out of humans soon. Gotta too, find, gotta find my theory on aliens. humans: how we became, how we came from apes are and you turned into my- into highly intelligent <laughs> beings. I think. <gasps> Something came to this planet, had sex with one of those apes, and merged. The, the highly intelligent part went into that. They fucked they aliens, fucked us. an ape, and that's where we come from. But if we, we fucked are an aliens. ape now, that's wrong. If we fucked an ape now, but I think the so alien how can came we, in. If, if it's that similar to us genetically, then how can we get away with fucking an alien that is literally from another planet? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go back to religion. I'm just going to go, <laughs> go ahead and say that, you know, we come from God. God created us, and that's right. That's the right thing. I just have these stupid theories just to make people think, you know? Maybe that alien. Maybe he's right. Well, we maybe like aliens. Did, the maybe an alien. I fuck, did come I'd fuck an alien. Oh I would gosh. if it looks like the Avatar yeah, guy. He's hot, and blue is my they, color. They they definitely have like some powers, like supernatural powers Imagine that people blood, blood, don't have. Thousand. No, that's what I'm saying. Like I think I think somebody would have to try to figure out like what they're capable of doing. But what if we have powers? Like what if they can't make jokes or something? Like what if they like they don't have a lot of aliens? Remember, you guys ever see scary movie when the alien's dick is the finger and Simon Rex puts the finger in his mouth? (laughs) You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I saw. Scary movies were so funny. They were so like underrated too for comedy movies. They were just nonstop joke, joke, joke. I remember I mean, the, the alien one because they do the whole thing in the little crop field, but I don't yeah, remember yeah. when they got to the Well, dick or imagine aliens, like, because nothing has to be the same as humans. So, you know, what if their dicks are on their fingers, <laughs> you know? And that's how they, they re- procreate, you know? Yeah. So, and then, like, you meet an alien and you fucking end up getting that finger in, in your mouth and you just sucked an alien's what dick, are you, you know? Right but now? how'd you get the alien what finger you in? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right yeah, but why would anyone's go. finger he might have been costing you because I went to the test. That was insane. Yeah. That was yeah. insane. Yeah. You never know, like, what you put your mouth on from an alien. That might be their reproductive organ, yeah. you know? They could <sighs> fucking stick their heads inside, you know? You fucking end up, you never know. You could just, you know, end up sucking an alien's dick out of nowhere. 
Do you think? Why does it sound like you? personal experience? Yeah. <sighs> that's a lot. To, that's a lot to unpack right now. I've been <laughs> fucked by an alien. <laughs> I mean, I've been mouth assaulted by an alien. I Thank you guys for tuning yeah. in to this episode of Cancel. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what we're ending on, but uh, we, we're touring tomorrow. This episode is this episode. It was an episode for sure. Mike and Jeff, thank you for literally within a 30-minute time span. In another here. state. Yeah, on you the guys other really state. came at the drop of a, what do you, they say, a dime or something? Drop a hat. <laughs> drop a dime. <laughs> um, and I'm excited for us to begin live shows and burger pop-ups tomorrow. And no matter what, this I'm episode starving. is better than the one that I would have aired. Because it's well, thank you. you guys save lives today. Not mine, but anytime, anytime several people you, would have killed themselves. Thanks for having us on. I did it all for you, Brooke. I love this Beautiful. episode. <laughs> <laughs> thank right. you guys.